there are human rights tools that have to be employed and should be employed to assist uh, a person's application when he's included in the sanction list and wants uh, this to be discontinued. So first of all, uh, in the domain of the European Union, we talk about the European Convention uh, of, uh, on Human Rights uh, and in other countries uh, outside of the European Union, we have to bear in mind that there is a universal declaration on human rights uh, signed by the uh, United Nations uh, General Assembly in 1966. And both of these instruments are basically the assets of the generation which has suffered the Second World War and has been passed to us. And um, in uh, European Union and Switzerland, these, uh, their rights uh, are respected and they can be invoked as uh, our practice shows. But also uh, there are other cases and other uh, uh, individuals who have uh, invoked these rights in their claims before the Court of Justice of the Euro European Union. And Alexander will uh, talk a little bit more on these cases further. But basically, the tools that have to be employed, uh, can be employed, uh, are the right to a fair trial. This is Article 6 of the European Convention on Human Rights. And this tool we have invoked and used in our practice to protect our mandates then this is the right to property. This is the Article 1 uh, of the Protocol 1 to the Convention on uh, European Convention on Human Rights. Uh, and uh, other fundamental rights, such as uh, the right to come and go, which is included in another protocol uh, to the Convention. Uh, and uh, there, are, there are the right to effective remedy. Uh, and uh, we see that uh, <clears throat> from the uh, from the applications uh, of the uh, successful applications for being delisted uh, and sanctions being discontinued, we see that there is a lot of jurisprudence on these rights, uh, and uh, these rights can be successfully invoked indeed. Uh, one of the grounds uh, why uh, why a person or even a company can be delisted uh, from the SDN uh, is that uh, the in, uh, the grounds for uh, its inclusion uh, are already outdated and do not match the actual reality. So uh, there there are a number of cases regarding this, in particular Olga Eisenman versus Council. Uh, where uh, this lady managed to prove before the European Court of Justice that she was not uh, anymore in a relationship with uh, her ex-husband, Michael Friedman, since 2005, and that uh, the grounds for her inclusion in the uh, SDN list were uh, based on tabloid publications, which often had no authors or were uh, bared no dates and were generally dubious. So uh, on the slide, you will see the tools that can assist uh, to find the dubious and uh, uh, no longer relevant information about uh, the person uh, you represent or you, if you are personally affected by the sanctions. And using these tools, uh, we can help you to, uh, we can help you to substantiate your case and uh, to present, uh, present it in the right way so you can achieve success and be delisted.